I'm Emily Pogue with Dazzle, and I just finished listening to Daniel Coyle's Culture Code, The Secrets of Highly Successful Teams, and the spoiler alert is that I loved it. I really like learning about organizations and what makes them successful. I got excited when references were made to companies I've read books about, like Zappos, or when activities I've tried in recent workshops, like the Marshmallow Challenge, were described in detail. But I also liked hearing about organizations I knew nothing about, like Disney, Pixar, military units, basketball teams, and a comedy troupe. On the surface, most of the organizations in the book have nothing to do with education, except when Coyle discussed vision, purpose, coaching, feedback, and teams, it had everything to do with building positive cultures in our schools. In our work, we talk a lot about culture and how relationships are the foundation of our work in schools. Coyle didn't describe anything earth shattering. He described simple ways to build a positive culture, including having a vision, a set of values, and communicating them over and over and over and over again. That to me was the part that really stuck. One amazing faculty meeting at the beginning of the year is not the answer, according to Coyle. Instead, he talks about consistency in messaging every day regarding a group's values and purpose, about how everything has to circle back to ideas that are central to how we function as a team. There are lots of teams in education, a school staff, a district staff, a leadership team, a team of administrators, a group of grade level educators or content area teachers, and the list goes on and on. If you were to take stock today, does everyone feel like they belong on your team? And are your teams as productive as they could be? I think this book will give leaders and team members practical ideas for building culture one action and conversation at a time. It will probably make you rethink the ways you are approaching situations and consider if you are truly living your organization's values. The final reason I love this book was because it was a great audiobook. The voice on the audiobook was good, the pacing was on point, and at times I felt like I was stepping right into successful organizations because it was so descriptive. I've always liked listening to audiobooks and have found that it's an easy way to read a lot more for work. So I'd recommend reading Culture Code by Coyle, and I'd highly recommend considering it for a book talk with a team, especially a team that wants to be more successful in the future. Thanks for checking out Dazzle Reads. What book or blog have you recently read that you recommend we check out next? Comment below. Learn more about Dazzle by visiting our website at www.dazzle.udel.edu or check us out on Twitter at UD underscore Dazzle. See you next time.